Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Infosys DSC and SP exam dates are out and the exam is on 13th July. So guys, on this particular channel, I have started this preparation series and this is the second video of this preparation series wherein I am discussing the previous year coding questions which were asked in Infosys DSC slash SP exam. And guys, during this video only, I will be telling you about your last minute preparation resources where you can find more such previously asked portion of this Infosys exam. This exam is really tough. Total three coding questions will be asked from you. The best strategy is to prepare from the previously asked questions only. Okay, only one and two days are remaining for you. Make sure that you are watching this video till the end. And also I will be telling you about the resources from where you can find the previously asked question. So let's start this video. Make sure that after watching this part two video, you watch part one video as well that I have made yesterday only. The link you will find in the description box as well as you can check out our channel. And also you guys do join this Telegram group. It's dedicated for 2024 and 2025 batch students. All the details regarding different different companies which will be hiring, I will be posting in this group only. All the relevant links you will find in the description box. Now let's start the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, first of all, I will be discussing the question, then the approach of this question, and finally the coding part of this question. The problem statement here is ship fuel distribution system. You are managing a naval base that refuels ships. Each ship has a unique fuel requirement, and the tankers provide fuel in continuous batches only. You must assign fuel such that each ship gets fuel exactly equal to its requirement from a contiguous segment of a fuel batch only. I know. This statement is a bit confusing, but let's read the next statement. Given a list of fuel batches and a fuel requirement X, check whether there exists a sub array whose sum is exactly equivalent to X. See guys, there is a, sometimes there is a possibility that the question is easy, but they are trying to frame a story out of it, which makes it complex. So read the question very carefully. If the question is not clear to you, directly jump towards the test cases and the sample input and sample output. Many things are cleared once you look out for the uh, sample test cases okay here the question is really simple you have to find a sub array whose sum is equivalent to x this is simple the entire above story is nothing it's just for the confusion purpose okay this is one of the easiest question which was asked in the previously infosys sp and dsc exam so constraints are here again very important because it's a tough exam and you might get a TLE timeout exception if you do not follow constraints. So n is 10 to the power 6 maximum time complexity, complexity that you can use to solve this question is n log n. But since we need to find only a sub array whose sum is exactly equivalent to x, we will be able to solve it in big O of n time complexity. Okay. Let's just see the sam sample input first. So first uh, number is 5 that is how many elements are there in the array. Next number is 12 that is the value of x that you have to find whether this sum exists in this array or not okay in contiguous sub array format so here that and here is 12 so does 12 exist okay is there a sub array whose sum is equal to 12 so answer is yes this is the sub array whose sum is equal to 12 it is as simple as that so we will print yes okay next is sample input 2 first is again number of elements in the array and next is 100 that is the is there any sub array whose sum is equal to 100 so this is the array so is there any sub array whose sum is equal to 100? The answer is no. So we are simply printing out no. So I hope the question is clear to you. It's very simple. You just have to find the sub array whose sum is equal to the x. Okay. Now let's move towards the approach of this question. Okay. So guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have Infosys DSC SP preparation material. In this particular preparation material, we have discussed around 100 plus previously asked question of this exam. See, I have told you many times that this exam contains three coding questions and they are not easy at all. The best way for your last minute preparation is to prepare from the previously asked questions. You can see here we have given two docs, part one and part two, each containing 50 plus previously asked questions in this exam. If I will show you the sample of first doc, you can see here we have given the proper question proper answers constraints also and coding part also we have given and explanation of the each and every test case is also given so this can be a very good way for your preparation okay last minute preparation you just have two to three days before your exam will be starting okay similarly for document two also you can see here we have the proper question given input format output format 
and the proper answer is also given. So in one document, Python related answers are given, and one document, C++ answers are given. But do focus on the logic only. Okay, constraints are very important in this uh, exam, and optimized solutions you will have to give for passing all the test cases. Okay, so if you think this material can help you in your preparation, you can check out the links in the description box, and it is at a very nominal price of forty nine because lot of effort have gone in collecting the previous year questions and finding the correct optimal solutions for them and giving you in this doc. Okay. the links you will find in the description box now let's continue with the video okay so now let's see we will be solving this question with the help of two pointer we just need to find a sub array whose sum is equal to x and we will be using the two pointers for solving this question so both the pointers are initially started with zero th index so what we'll do there are two pointers left pointer and right pointer so we will use right pointer to iterate the array and left pointer to uh, sorry the right pointer will be the end of the sub array and left pointer will be the starting of the sub array Okay. Initially, both of these pointers are from from the zeroth indexes. I hope it's clear to you. Now, when this uh, right pointer is here, so we will what we'll do? We will add the right pointer's value in the current sum. So, the current sum now becomes one. Just a second. Yeah, the current sum now becomes one. So this right pointer will move towards the next. Now, this current sum is this current sum equivalent to x? Answer is no. Okay. We need because we need to find the sub array. So is this uh, current sum equal to x? Answer is no. So in this case, what we'll do? This again, we will add the current element. That is the right element. So this is the rth. So we will add four in here. So we, it will become five. So again, after adding five, it will move ahead. Okay. Now we will see whether the current sum is equal to x or not. Okay. So answer is no. It is not equal to x. But is it less than x? So if it is less than x, we will again add the right uh, right pointer value in it. But if it is greater than x, then we'll see what we'll do. So currently, current sum is less than x. So what we'll do? We will add the right pointer's value to it. So answer will become twenty-five. So right pointer will go one step ahead. Now, the current sum value is equal to x. No. Is current sum less than x? No. Is current sum greater than x? Yes. Current sum is greater than x. Now see, what does this current sum shows? So current sum is the sum of the sub array starting from the left pointer. till the right pointer minus 1 that means these three elements so now we now is the time to move the left pointer how we will move the left pointer we will move the left pointer till the current sum is not less than x so currently it is 25 so we will do left plus plus so 25 once we will do left plus plus so this one will be subtracted from here it will become 24 so is current sum less than x no equal to x no greater than x yes it is greater than x So again, what we'll do? We will again subtract the left value from this current sum. It will become four. Oh, sorry. It will become twenty. So again, the left pointer will move ahead. Okay. Now is current sum greater than x? Yes. So again, what we'll do? We will subtract the current sum value from this uh, left pointer. So again, it will become twenty minus twenty. It will become zero. So again, left pointer will go here. Now this right pointer is here. So what we'll do? We will first add the value. So it will become two. So first the value is added. It will move ahead. So now is current sum equal to x? No. Is current sum less than x? Yes. So if the current sum is less than x, then again we will add the right pointer's value to it. It will become twelve. Okay. Then we will do x plus plus. So now is the current sum equal to x? Answer is yes. So in this case, what we'll do? We will print out x because we have found out the sub array whose sum is equal to x. But if in case this right pointer is now out of index and till now we have not found the value that is equal to x it means answer will be no in this case so till here when the right pointer moved out one time we have found in this case that current sum is equal to x so answer will be yes but when the right pointer is out of index and we are not able to find current sum equal to x then the answer will be no i hope this approach is clear to you it's simple two pointer approach for finding out the sum of a sub array contiguous sum of a sub array okay i hope this approach is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code here so you can see here this is the input i have written in python so n we are taking as input x we are taking as input and then the array we are taking as input and we have made the entire function to find whether there is exist a sub array whose sum is equal to x or not we have two pointers left pointer and right pointer initialized from here okay both are initialized with zero only left and right pointer 
then there is current sum variable that is zero. So first of all, what we'll do, we'll do current sum plus equal to ARR of right because always the right pointer sum get added. Okay. Now I have told you we will check whether the current sum is equal to x is less than x or is greater than x. So if the current sum is greater than x, what I have told you, what we'll do, we will keep on moving the left pointer, okay, and keep on subtracting the value from the current sum till the current sum value become less than or equal to x. So while current sum is greater than x, we are continuously subtracting the left value from the current sum and we are doing left plus equal to 1 because for by after subtracting each and every value, the left pointer will also move one step ahead. So I hope this step is clear to you. This is very important step. Now, after this step is over, we will check whether the current sum value is equal to x or not. If the current sum value is equal to x, we are simply printing out yes and we are returning it. But if the current sum value after this loop is not equal to x, it means the current sum value is less than x. So what in that case, what will happen? This loop, that is this loop will keep on going and we will keep on adding the right element in the current sum. And after every step, we will be checking both of these conditions. Even once this condition is successful, we will return yes. But after running entire loop, if this condition even once is not successful, then we are simply printing out no in this case that there does not exist a subarray whose sum is equal to x. I hope this is clear to you. Let us see with the help of example. So five elements and I am running this. This is a sample input. So answer should be yes because this 2 and 10 combines to give the 12 as answer. Now let's just write here 11. So now in this case, there does not exist any subarray whose sum is equal to 12. So this should give us no as the answer. Okay. So let's see what it gives the answer. Uh, it will be no only. Okay. So yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Sorry. There exists 12 here. So let me just do 10 here. Okay. Now there does not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there again exists. This 10 and 2 again exists 12. Let me just write one test case. So answer will be yes here. So here. Now there does not exist any subarray whose sum is equivalent to 12 here. So answer will be no. Okay. Now even if uh, there is a single element who is 12, it means it is a subarray. Okay. Single element is also a subarray. So here also the answer should be yes because this single element is equivalent to x. So you can see answer is coming out yes. So this look, uh, code is in optimized way that is big of n time complexity and it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. I hope you liked the video. After watching this video, do watch the part one also in which I have discussed again a new question. Okay. And guys, as I told you in the video, on our top mid page of Code Bachelor, we have ha having Infosys DSC SP preparation material. Okay. We have 100 plus previously asked questions in this exam. Okay. And there is only two to three days left for your preparation. So best way to prepare is by seeing the, by revising the previously asked questions only. So if you're interested, the links or links are in the description box. Do check them out and do join this Telegram group. Again, the links you'll find in the description box. Thank you for watching this video.